Darth Bane, one of the strongest Sith in the game. Um, right up there with Darth Revan and Exar Kun. This video will be purely dedicated to uh, this wonderful, wonderful character. Such a so strong Sith. And we'll be going through his stats. There is only one version of Bane in the Star Wars Miniatures universe. Um, he is worth 82 points and exclusively just to the Sith faction. He starts off with a whopping 200 hit points. It's the single most amount of hit points any Jedi or Sith character starts off with. Uh, the nearest to him is Exar Kun with 180. There is obviously, characters wise, you've got um, in the fringe faction, you have the Reek, which is a fringe monster. Um, he does also start off with 200 points, but very, very different story and a story for another video. But hit points wise, he starts off with 200. Starts off with a pretty high defense of 20 as well. An extremely high attack of 16. And then his base rate damage is 30 instead of 20, which is incredibly rare for Jedi or Sith. Any force rated miniature to have a damage rate of 30. It just really uh, shows his power and strength and um, how offensive and aggressive this Darth Bane character is. Special abilities then. He is a unique character. Um, he has melee attack, so can only attack adjacent enemies. Um, and has a double attack. He also has the special ability Jedi Hunter, so when he's fighting against anyone with a Force rating, Sith, other Jedi, he gets a plus 4 attack bonus and a plus 10 damage. So effectively, that bumps his, um, his attack right up to 20, plus 20 on a 20-sided dice. I mean, that is ridiculous. Um, and then his damage goes from 30 up to 40. His force powers, I'm not going to lie, are very OP. They're pretty ridiculous. He starts off with two force points at the beginning, and then every single turn, because he's got force renewal one, um, he gains an extra force point every single phase that he activates. Um... And then he can build these force up and use them to do all these various different things. There's Sif Sorcery, there's Sif Rage, Lightsaber Throw, Lightsaber Sweep, Lightsaber Assault as well. He's also got Master of the Force 2, which basically means that he can spend up to two force points in his turn and up to two force points in his opponent's turn whereas most characters in the game can only do it once in each turn he's got an amazing array of force powers sif rage so for one force point he gets plus 10 damage on all of the attacks that he does that turn um, Effectively, combined with Jedi Hunter, that boosts his attack against Jedi to 50. 50 per turn. He could potentially do 100 damage using his double attack if he's in adjacent to, uh, you know, another character in like a lightsaber duel. Could be doing 100 damage per turn. Lightsaber throw, so instead of attacking someone next to him, he can throw his lightsaber against a target that is within six squares of him. So basically what happens is you select your target, if they're close enough, um, and then you're still using your 
attack value of plus 16 or could be higher at plus 20. Um, so you do still have to roll to um, to use lightsaber throw, but with such a ridiculously high attack, shouldn't be a problem there. It's very, very good value for one force point. Um, lightsaber assault for one force um, replaces his normal attacks and he gets to do two attacks instead so he could move up to six perhaps and then use lightsaber assault to do two attacks it doesn't have to be against the same person like twin attack um, it can be against two separate opponents and it's really really entirely up to you and depending on the situation Sif sorcery as well is is his most expensive uh, force power, force 2, so it takes up 2 amounts of force points. And it's usable only in this character's turn. Enemy characters within 6 squares are considered activated this round. Um, but your enemies that are selected with Sif Sorcery can um, avoid being activated by Sif Sorcery with a save of 11 or more. Basically, I mean, if you picture the scenario, you could be surrounded by six Jedi. Um, if you use Sif Sorcery, all of the characters around you count as already having their turn, already moved. Um, but obviously they haven't, but because of the sorcery that Bane has created, um, it activates those miniatures, they cannot move, they cannot attack, it gives you such a big advantage. Um, of course these Jedi can use force points to um, re-roll the save that they might fail, but it's still a really, really useful um, force power to have. He's an incredibly powerful miniature. As you can see, this is nearly a seven or eight minute video because there's so much to talk about on his stat card. Um, for 82 points, you are getting a lot. Now, he's a tanky character, but has weaknesses. So he does have a low defense for a Sith, um, which is made up for in the fact that he's got 200 hit points and he's got no way of deflecting or um, blocking attacks as well so that 200 does get it does um, you can eat away at the 200 hit points quite quickly um, because he's got no way of of actually defending himself he's a very very offensive character but can do a lot of damage and can take out really really powerful characters quickly but he will struggle against other characters that have um, more of a uh, a mix of defensive and offensive um, stats especially characters that can block his attacks as well because he obviously doesn't have that ability um, but Bane is a wonderful wonderful character he's a lot of people's favorite Sith to use it's a wonderful miniature to have on the table um, absolute bargain in my opinion for 82 points um, and well worth the investment so that was Darth Bane